Yo, 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 yo! Welcome back. Today we are going to be opening up 130 plus chests, which all things considered isn't really that many, but I've got 128 tickets and we are going to get some free chests and extra things. But just before we do that, do remember that when you're opening up these chests, on average, to get enough talismans for a singular divine, on average, it'll take 400 chests opened, which means we shouldn't be expecting to be able to buy a divine with 150 tickets. It's going to be about 400 tickets on average per divine. But the actual drop rates for the holy talismans, you can see on the DML wiki. So to get a 50, it's a 1%. To get 10, 6%, then 47 and 46% chance. But I do also need the soft dragon, which has a 1% chance of dropping 10 pieces and 3% of dropping one piece. So let's see what we get. Knowing all of those stats and figures, how many talismans and how many pieces shall we get? out of like 130, 140-ish chests. So uh, every time you see a times 50, that's going to really, really help your total talisman count. And I started off at about 200 talismans, so keep that in mind as we are opening up these chesticles. But, you know, after Soft Dragon avoiding me the last time it was available, and by that I mean me kind of avoiding it, I would really like to get soft unlocked as quickly as possible. So, uh, I don't remember if I got a duplicate revelry, so I'm going to take a another one of that. And there we go, times 10, which means we only need three more pieces for the legendary. And then that means that all of the dragons out of the chapter 1 chests are mine. But, of course, the main thing that you'll be getting out of this divine event is, of course, the talismans. And you should be seeing on average three talismans per chest total. So if your average is below that, then kind of sucks to suck. But it's because there's such a high likelihood of getting three drops and above. So um, that's why you should expect a ratio of three. But come on. Soft, 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 come to me, come to me, love, my love, soft. I think our talisman luck's been pretty average so far, but getting that times 10 on soft so quickly was kind of lucky. But, you know, ultimately, my goal is, of course, going to be Artemis plus Newt, because I don't have Hathor yet, and you might as well go for Hathor if you were gonna go for Osiris anyway, because Artemis is exactly the same as Osiris, but it gives you the opportunity to unlock another dragon. So why not, right? And here we go. Uh, it looks like Soft is avoiding me now. <laughs> oh, I love it. We got a few times tens though. That's not too bad. I don't know exactly how many talismans we're up to. Ah, here we go. Is this Soft? Is this the soft pieces we need? There we go. Finally, after two events and after the initial shoddy release of soft, there we go. There is a new legendary for us to get hatching, and I will hatch it as soon as is possible. But let's finish opening up the rest of these chests, then we can take a look at what my drops look like. And then we can get hatching soft and maybe invest some of our talismans into Artemis because I know that I'm going for Artemis first and then we can unlock some of the milestone rewards as well. Because don't forget, when we unlock the milestone rewards, they do give us certain useful things, especially if you bought the, the premium section. Well, by buying the shrine you get the premium section. Which I have not bought, but I do still get the free section, so I still get a few little goodies. A, a few. Just a few. And there's another five pieces of soft that I didn't really need. We might as well open up these remaining chests. There we go. Some more times threes. So, by the end of that, I have 500 holy talismans, which, like I said, of course is not going to be enough to unlock even a single divine yet. My main dungeon weeks where I'm going to grind are going to be the non-plant heavy ones, assuming they exist. But let's go buy as many pieces of Artemis as we can for now. So you don't have to spend them all at once. In fact, it might be a good idea if you're not sure who you want to go for, 
to save your pieces. But I know I'm definitely going for Artemis and Newt. So that's why I'm spending mine. So now I've only got nine Holy Talismans left. But we're at 51 pieces of Artemis. And then if I quit out of here, we get some portal gems, some gold, five more tickets, food, and some free gems. So let's open the other five. Woohoo! An endless supply of tickets. If only, right? So nothing really too noteworthy. No times 50. I haven't had a times 50 since my first five. So it's what roughly I'd expect. So that's what you can roughly just about expect from around about 130 to 140-ish chests, which is not a whole lot. And let's get that soft dragon egg thrown into our hatchery here. So in two days time, he will be ready for us. We also have the whale mart. And one thing I'm going to say is this ticket deal right here, do not buy it. It is awful. One really good deal in this black market is the relics of breeding in exchange for food. Definitely take those, super high value. And the stepping stones, pretty good value as well. But the other three, the premium sigil chests, like in my situation, I definitely wouldn't buy any because I need these for the event. And 25 tickets, I could just do like two or three dungeon runs and make that back. So I really do not need to spend 200 gems when you can get that by just gemming the dungeon for a lot less. This is not a deal you should ever buy and this food deal, not worth it at all. So those two... Just don't buy them, don't touch them, don't look at them, or they will uh, they will infect you. They will actually infect you. Of course we've got the cake cray stuff continuing as well. I've finally been getting some of the good recipes and the good ingredients in, so we're finally making some progress. And oh look, ten more tickets! Time to open up some more chests! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ten more chests! What do we get? Another runic dragon. And just times threes. So it is going to be a long grind. A very long grind. And usually it's better to just pick a specific week that you want to grind in the dungeon. So that you can gem a specific week and get the most value. But of course you should be logging in and doing the dungeon stuff. And clearing the Cake Craze event. Because I only care about getting up to 8.2k. So you should be able to do that. And that's going to be another 35 tickets. And that is how you can get your hands on at minimum one divine if you're free to play and you don't have a good dungeon team. But ideally you should be able to get at least two divines. If you gem quite a lot you should be able to get every single divine from this event. But don't forget they have nerfed a couple of things like the tickets in chess. And it's not like we get any weekend events or anything that are going to give us bonus tickets. So that kind of sucks. But, aside from that, you know, continue your grinding. Even if you don't feel like you've got a lot of pieces for a dragon yet so far, don't worry, it's only week one, and it's not even the end of week one yet. Just keep doing that dungeon stuff, keep doing your event stuff, and you should be good to go. Don't forget that it is going to be castle event next week. And because of that, that does mean that you are going to have to be logging in every six hours, doing tasks every six hours. So you need to make sure that your breeding den is free. Make sure that the food that you're planting isn't above six hours, if you can. Or if you put in the longer food timers, like day food, then you won't have to collect from as many farms. But you have to be careful when you're managing that, because it is so easy to say, be quite late, maybe you're tired. And then you accidentally collect all of your farms and then suddenly all of your food supply is gone so you can't finish off the resets. You don't want that to happen. So, highly recommend that you get yourself prepped for next week's castle. It's going to be more or less the same as this week, but you'll just have to make sure you are definitely logging in at minimum once every six hours and doing all of the castle event stuff along with the dungeon stuff. But really, if you're also doing cake craze this week, it's probably going to be less strenuous <laughs> next week than it was this week. Because, you know, cake craze makes you log in every six hours. I mean, every hour. 
which is uh, not not fun. But let me know who you're going for. Are you actually going for Hathor? Are you going to get Newt and Artemis and the Castle Dragons and actually get your hands on Hathor? Are you only going for one dragon? Even if you're a new player, I think you should probably at least try and go for both. But, you know, you do you at the end of the day. If you don't believe your schedule can fit in with the castle events, then feel free to just go for a singular divine that you really, really like. But it would really suck if by the end of the event you had enough event currency, well, holy talismans to buy two dragons, and you ended up just buying Hephaestus. And then you didn't get half or that would suck if you did that and you could have done the castle event i've seen people do it before they're like nah there's no way i could have done that and then it turns out they could have done that and then they just miss out on a a powerful exception divine so just keep it in mind you have just got to be realistic with what you can do what you can achieve with your lifestyle your life a lot of people are going back to school for example soon so that might impact their decision making as well Obviously, people at work, you, your, your, your work schedule probably won't be changing too much, but all things considered, best of luck. I hope you get many times 50 drops and you get every dragon that you want out of this event. I just obviously like showing... Oh, another singular ticket, fine. One. <laughs> of course, it's one holy talisman. But, of course, I just like showing these off so that you can see roughly what my drops are like and you might end up getting similar luck to me. But, on average, it will take about 400 tickets slash 400 chests opened per divine. So, 400 is that key goal per divine, which does mean that to get all four, that's, that's, that's 400 times four, which is quite a lot when you think about it, but that's what a month of grinding looks like. But for now, I appreciate you being here, good luck, and uh, I hope to see you here again soon. Bye bye